hey guys welcome back to a all new video okay in today's video i'm so excited to share with you guys that i'm gonna change this red ugly shutter to something nice keep watching you'll see it so here are a few clips of what my shutter looks like when i first purchased this home now look at that red it's so pretty uh isn't it nice it's very that's the first thing i've seen in the house that made me bought this house these red shutters no i lied <laughs> That's a lie. I'm lying. So I'm just showing you clips of what these restaurants love this house. But this was one of the first thing I seen in this house that I said has to go. And guess what? I was so locked out when I purchased this home. We end up with a new roof because the roof was no good. It failed inspection. And I wish I had a choice to choose the color roof. But I didn't. And they had a brown color roof on. And what did they do? Replace it with brown. I don't blame them. Okay. So here's what the shutters look like. We got them taken down. I didn't take them down. I had my good friend, family friend of us came over to pressure wash the house. And there he is on the house. And I could have pressure washed it, but it's just too big for me. So going to take up my whole time, whole day. That's one. And I ain't going up on that ladder all the way around to pressure wash all day. That's some hard work there. So you guess what? Pay the people. When people to ask you for a price, other than the criminals, pay these people because it. It's a lot of work and it's a big house, okay? So there he is. And I gotta tell you, this house needed to be pressure washed so bad. It has like, from all the trees, you could see there's a lot of trees around, surrounded by the home. And yes, you should see the amount of green moss and stuff that was on the house. Not for nothing, hasn't looked as bad as some of them, them houses I've seen. It doesn't look that bad, but I'm a clean and a neat freak and I want everything to look nice. That's just it. But not for nothing, it didn't look as bad as some of these houses. You see, we have some moss up here. This is the worst. This is the worst I'm showing you, the moss on the, the fireplace where the brick. And I think it's because it's brick and it's just standing out there to itself, to the chimney going up. And that's what it looks like. But these, this guy... He's, he rocks. He, he did a really good job. He came really early and he started to work. I work night shift as you guys know. And I was sleeping and he started on one end of the house. Da 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 da. And keep it going. And I'm just going to zoom in and show you guys. Because I'm trying to make a video of this. But this camera isn't doing it any justice. But you see the green lines. That's what it kind of look like all over. Not to mention the other side of the house. That's more towards the wood, woods. I didn't visit vi vi um, video it. But. Yeah, I did not video all of that because you know what? I got to go back to sleep while he works. So this is what it looks like. But just to show you, look how satisfied that is as he go along and pressure wash. Get all that gunk off the house, you know, so the outside start looking like the inside. So here's what the shutters look like after he finished washing them. They're all clean. They're dried. And I'm going to really miss this red. <laughs> no, I'm not. Anyways, here we go. We, I bought this spray paint. Um, spray paint gun from Amazon. I had one for a couple of years and I was using it and I it just failed me. It fails me. And I really didn't want to buy a new one. But after started to paint these shutters by hand with a brush, I said, mm -mm, Lord have mercy. It's worth me going on to the store and spend $59 because I'm going to be out here forever with 18 shutters, a total of 18 shutters. I'm like, it's 18 shutters. I could do it. But anyways, enough of that. This is the type of paint. And shout out to the, Lowe's, the lady at Lowe's that helped me out with these paint and primer. So don't ask me. I'm showing you exterior paint and primer. Season Flex. That's the brand. And the color is brown velvet exterior. It's right there. One gallon can size. It's right there. And I'm making sure I'm showing you guys. So I, the lady did give me a primer to use. So that way it could bond. And I showed you guys, but please don't ask me. Because I won't remember. I have to move on to the next step. My aunt said, you never remember anything. Yeah, because my brain has limited capacity. Because I got to keep learning new stuff. So I can't keep old stuff in my head. And you're going to see this video a year later or two. And ask me. And I'm probably dead by then. Uh, let me not say that. God forgive me. But yeah. So here I am. We have a piece of cardboard. And I want to make sure I get my spray lined or texture whatever it is get it lined up the correct way before i start spraying these shutters because i don't want it to be running and looks all lump like the thing has lump all over so that's the purpose of the cardboard spray down the cardboard first to make sure you have the right spray um because this spray gun come with different sizes of nozzle and you turn the nozzle according to how you want to paint but shout out like i'm not trying to promote this amazon should literally give me affiliate with this because right now or the seller of this, I'm promoting it. But I shouldn't be because I bought it for only $59. Man, oh, I don't even know what to say. 
I wish I'd bought this one a few years ago because my first one that just failed on me when I was doing these shutters, I haven't used it in, in like maybe two years. So I think it's like, yeah, you know what? You put me down, you left me, and now I just, I'm going to give up on you. But it still wasn't as good as this. The way how this thing spray and the ear that's coming from this thing here, I feel like I was using a, a compressor. If you use a spray gun before or a compressor with painting, that's what it felt like. It was so good and it was so um shit i don't remember the word but um it feels good the word is it feels good and satisfying to see how nice this is going and how smooth it was flowing so one of the thing is i the only problem the only thing i didn't like with this is because this um it has a cord i have to plug it in and every time i move around if i don't pay attention i may trip over the cord or the cord is just going to get paint on it one or other so that's why you see me sweeping it backward moving it backward and all that so all i did I had a bunch of crap in my garage because, you know, I'm a DIY, so I don't throw away anything. So that piece of wood or piece of board that came with my shower door, you know, and I saved it and it worked out two years later. <laughs> two years worth of junk I have in my garage. That's why I can't park in there. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one who fills my garage with junk. If you're a DIYer or, you know, your husband or whatever it is that fills your garage with junk and park the car outside, okay? Because the junk is more important than the car, okay? <laughs> Anyways, so that's all I did. I put that out so I didn't have to spray the dirt. And so I would have something to put those shutters on. So I put the shutters, two shutters fit per that side. Plus I have the palette, the other part of this part. There's a few part of the part, 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 and the part into the part. You to the part, to the part, to the part, to the part to split. <laughs> all right. So it's not for me and my nonsense. Yeah, so that's all I'm doing. And yes, don't come from me and say, she always come on camera and look like that. Guess what? I ain't going to put good clothes on to paint. Get out of here. Plus, I want to be comfortable. So, you see, my T-shirt, it said it is what it is. So, you could say whatever you want. The T-shirt says all. It is what it is. I got to make sure my hair is all covered because we don't want paint in my hair. I go to work, I'm going to look like I'm gray. You know, we got to cover all that up. And then we take it closer to the woods over there. And um, But this dude, like, I finished this in, in a day. In a day, in less than a day, I did 18 shutters, primed them, wait for it to dry, paint it wait for it to dry and hang them well yes so once it was dry i kind of like turn it to the side on that side and then to make sure we get the sides okay lead it to the tree and i'm telling you this paint gun man this paint gun is everything you gotta get it okay i'm gonna also link that in the description box below okay so here we are again i'm just showing you so this is the palette so i did those two over there and look how this is so it's efficient so efficient like think about me painting this thing with a brush i'll be here until i'm 102 years old trying to paint these with a brush okay and not for nothing to get into those groove it's a pain in the ass so and that's what my closet doors look like with those um like groove like those little blinds things so this paint gun is everything because i'm gonna be using that uh, next year i don't think i'm gonna be painting anything for the rest of the year because you know again it's a one woman show and i try to do it all okay and then i have to work so it's too much so that's what it looks like once i was done priming and it didn't take two coat of primer one coat of primer full coverage it looked like it was painted look at that and of course that one shutter looks like it's more covered because you know it flips <laughs> if you notice you could see the rest or you're looking into the blind looking like and that part because it flips okay so this you got to see this please take a moment and stop what you're doing and look at this this is what <laughs> i was painting by hand that's what my you see that that's from the spray gun that failed me that's what it was looking like and i'm like screw this i'm gonna paint this by hand and this is what it looks like and then i'm like uh-uh this is torture i did not do anything to deserve this i would prefer go to jail than paint the shutter wet brush look at it maybe i just didn't have a right brush maybe if it's one or two then yeah but dude 18 shutters with a paintbrush come on now i would prefer spend 59 dollars and be done in two hours look at that anyways but it looks terrible so i went ahead and i just used the spray gun shoo 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 done just like that look at that so that's what it looks like when i was all done look how beautiful so now we washed our paint you got to make sure one thing if you want your spray gun to survive and to have a long life to live its life expectancy clean it out when you're done they're not dirty dishes they don't go in dishwasher they don't go in sink clean it out because it's going to get clogged so i went ahead and once i was done with the primer the leftover primer that was in the jar i pour it back into my one gallon primer 
um, can. Then I went, take my garden hose, I washed it out. It also, this pack also come with a brush, all kind of stuff for you to clean it out. But because I immediately went ahead and start doing that, I had no problem. You don't let the paint dry. Do not let the paint dry. And if you have to stop for the day because, and you have paint in your in your can and you have to come back for, to it tomorrow, you take the spray gun part off and this can came with a ca uh, cap. So you could cap that bottle part with the paint if you don't want to pour that back in the can. And then clean the spray gun part. You got to clean it. You got to clean it or the nozzle is going to get screwed up and you're going to have problem and you're going to give the thing a zero review and then you're going to say it doesn't work. Okay, sometimes we have manufacturer problem and it's going to say it doesn't work. But I often see stuff like that. When people don't do it right, they say it don't work. Anyways, and I just wish I could like comment on some of these Amazon comment because I knew they didn't do it right. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Again, if you have to like save your paint because you're coming back to your work tomorrow, just take the, the bottle off, cap it, and then clean off your top part with your nozzle. So that's all I'm doing. But I, for some reason, was good at eyeballing and eyeballing just enough to put in there to paint the shutters for the day. So here you see me going over. As it started drying, I noticed I've missed a few spots. So I'm just going over and to touch it up. And look at that nice brown color right there. That's all I'm doing. You could see the spray. You see? And it was a perfect day to do this because the wind wasn't so bad. It wasn't that hot. And I'm in the shade. And it was just perfect. Perfect. It was the perfect weather for painting. It was like 82, but we it wasn't like hot, hot, hot. But then it wasn't windy. So this is what it looks like. Once I was done painting them and they got dried and I am so obsessed and that's my piece of palette right there. Look at that brown compared to the red. The red was more brighter, I should say, but that's from in the 90s. Now we're in the 20 hundred, so we got to step it up. So look, I have to slow this video down, slow it down to show you guys this shutter, this, okay, this paint gun is everything, but not only that, the paint gun is everything. You have to have a good technique. So I'm not going to give the paint gun all the credit because I, Shayna, rocks. And I know that because I feel that and I <laughs> do that, okay? So, and, you know, and a lot of you guys out there believe in me more than I believe in myself. So I appreciate you guys for all of that. But look how, look at the finish. Look at the finish. There is a technique to doing this. So I could see somebody using this paint gun and say it doesn't work. Do you notice there's no dripping? There's no bubbling. There's no lumps. This shutter looks like it came straight out from the factory. Looks like they manufactured it that way. Look, you still see the grain of it. You still see everything. The only thing I would say, I use the same screws that I took out. I wasn't going to buy a new screw with cap. But the guy that pressure washes the house, he had left his letter at my house. Da -da -ya -da -ya -da -ya. I was I asked him, I could borrow your letter to put them back up. He said, sure. But then he reached back out and said, I'm coming for the letter. And of course, I had to, I was forced to do this, <laughs> to do this so he could get his letter back. Um, long story short, look at all of that. Like, seriously, look at that. Look at that. Come on now. You see what I mean? Um, so, but if I, the only thing I would change about this, being that I didn't get the new screw with the cap, so we don't see those little metal screws, I would touch that up with a sponge and a little bit of the paint. But it looks like that because you're close to it. Once it went on the house, it's not there, gone. It's still there, but you can't see it because it's up there. You can't see, you would literally have to walk up to the shutters on the wall, on the outside of the house and say, screw are you there? Screw, are you there? And then the screw would be like, screw you. <laughs> yeah, so that's, <laughs> I think something is wrong with me. I just laugh at my own stupid joke. That's what happens when you live alone for too long. You make yourself happy, make yourself comfortable by telling yourself jokes and then laugh at it. <laughs> okay, and that's what a loner does, okay? I'm not miserable and I'm not unhappy. I'm a very happy person. I'm living the dream, okay? And so that's what it looks like. I really have to show you. Look at, no, but seriously. Look at the finish. No lumps, no drips, no, look at that. Look at that brand new shutters. And shutters aren't cheap because I was going to buy new shutters, like the more modern type one. You know what I'm saying, those more modern type one to put up, but they weren't cheap. And thank God I didn't buy it because 
what I did with my stupid self or dumb self, you know, I could call myself that, um, was measure the bottom windows because I could reach those. So I measured the, measure the bottom windows, which has longer shutters. They were like, I think, 69 to 67 inches long. I measured those not knowing that the top shutters <laughs> were shorter than the bottom shutters. Because the top, for some reason, my bottom windows are um, uh, shorter if you look at it, they're shorter and the longer and the top ones are shorter. Um, so, yeah, and look at that front door. If you haven't seen that front door video, go check that out after you finish watching this video. So this guy, um, he's at my house help, um, installing sprinkler. If you live in the capital region and in, in the capital region of New York, okay, which is Albany, Glenville, in the capital region of New York, the state of New York, and you want to get your sprinkler, hit me up. Follow me on social media, um, Instagram, Facebook. I got the guy for you. I got the right guy here for you. He's really good at what he does, and he's pretty reasonable. He's installing um, sprinkler for me, okay? So he saw me, and he saw me with that letter, and the struggle was real, and he stopped to come and help me. Isn't he a great guy? I appreciate you, man. Thanks for your help. So I went up on the ladder, I, and I feel like I look, look, you see now, because the camera is so far away, because that's high building. Look, don't I look like a little... Uh, midget on it. Should I say that word? I uh, probably shouldn't. But I felt like I look like Santa. You ever seen those things that Santa climbing the ladder? Like, look, look at me up there. Look like, yeah, it doesn't look right. But anyways, Santa. So I'm up there and I have the screw gun and I'm hoping this letter don't go down. And thank God somebody was there. Thank God for this guy. Thank God he was there installing the sprinkler. He saw me and he's like, you're something else. So he hel helped me with the ladder put the ladder up then hand me the shutters because at one point i was going up there with the shutter the drill in one hand the shutter on the other and hoping that god hold me up there okay so i'm so grateful that i was that this guy has a big heart and he was able to help me stop from what he's doing he's installing his sprinkler and he stopped to um hand me this stuff good people are still out there so i appreciate you man um anyways so that's it we got the shutter up. And, of course, I'm not going to show you how I put them all up because, you know what, I don't have time for that. And you don't have time for that either. So we got those up. I really wasn't going to make a video of putting it up because the struggle was real of me have to use my brain to figure out how to get it up there. But because he helped me, I was able to make a video. So this is what it looks like. My goal was only to install all these top one because the guy was coming for his ladder the next day. And look at that brown roof. Now... You see the shutters matches the roof. And the first thing I did to this house when I bought it was put gutters on. And I had them put gutter helmet on and it's brown as well. So it suits, it fits very nice. And it looks kind of like dark <laughs> color. And I think this hall has to do with the camera of how it's showing. Um, but it's a beaut It's You guys, if you, you know, you seen what it looks like when I was done. But I think it has to do with the direction the sun is coming from and everything in the camera. And that's what it looks like. I love how it turns out. Like, the brown looks really nice with that. I don't know. That's Is that a beige color the house is painting? I feel like it's a beige. And I feel like the brown starts showing more of the color. Look at that. And also, if you haven't seen that garage door video, go ahead and check that out. Look at this house. It looks like a whole different house. I wish I had a full video of what the house looked like. But I think I do. But it's sped up. Of empty house tour. So if you want to see what this house looked like when I first bought it, both inside and outside... Go watch my empty house tour video. It's going to be in the iCard above and in the description box below. And yes, I'm not done. I still have five more shutters to put up. I will put those up when I feel like. And for right now, I have other stuff doing. But you see the brown roof? If you can see. To me, I think I put a lot of thought into this. I went up to Lowe's and I pick up bunch, bunch, bunch of different shade brown, bring them home, match them. And the color that came up the best was the brown velvet. And that's why I choose that. But yes, I know I talk a lot. And if you made it this far throughout this video, <laughs> it's obvious that you like what you see here. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, why don't you please go ahead and do so? After you do so, make sure you turn your notification bell on. Therefore, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Also, make sure you share this video with your friends and family. This way, they won't miss out. Please go ahead and follow me over on social media as I tend to share short videos and clips of what I'm doing and what's going on in today's world or <laughs> Shayna's world. You see my grass? I put a lot of work into that grass and I have a female dog and she pee on it and that's what happened. Plus, I put fertilizer on it and I it was raining, but it didn't rain long enough and it burned 
because I didn't water it. And that's the purpose of me getting the sprinkler installed. Okay, so that's what's going on with that. So, now with all that have been said, remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthen you. Until next time, be blessed and bye for now.